you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Mireya, but you can call me Mimi. If you're not new, hi, welcome back. So today, if you haven't noticed it yet, it's my birthday. Yay! <laughs> like, I'm all by myself in this room, but you know. Uh, <laughs> so I was thinking of doing another Christmas music reaction video, but... I really wanted to just make a small break here because I don't know, I just wanted to share not only with you but also with me for the future me to see this video in one year and see how much I've changed. So I think saying things out loud are so important and that's the reason behind this video. I want to do like more dedicated full video at the end of the month because I think it's good also to make a small recap of what 2020 it's been but today I'm going to be concentrating more on what I've learned this year you know um, because I mean I know there's no big change between 27 and 28 by the way I'm, I'm 28 years old and today I'm 28 and I don't think there's a lot of difference. I think the biggest difference will be when I turn 30, which I'm quite scared of, to tell you the truth. I mean, I know it's not a big deal nowadays, but I don't know. Um, you, you will understand why I'm scared of in a few minutes. Um, for me this year has been a little bit of life changing, just a little bit. Because, you know, if you follow me since the beginning of the channel, I was living until June in Norway and I was, um, I was so happy there, but I had to come back due to work that I had to move back to Spain, and which made me quite sad, by the way. And I spent the first few months, like one or two months, just by myself just working, filming some videos because I wasn't even making a lot of videos back then. Um, so I was a little bit in, like in a bubble, if you can call it like that, where I mean I was happy in a way with the, with the job that I had, um, but you know I, I, I was in a bubble, I was in a bubble where yeah, I was hanging with some friends, but not as much as I would have loved to. But, you know, I, I thought that I was okay with that. And now looking back, it's like, <laughs> Mireya, what were you doing? That's, that's not okay with you. So, yeah, I, I spent the first two months like that, and then it hasn't actually changed a lot. Right now it's true that uh, since November, oh, mid-October, mid November, I have changed a little bit. I, I can't really say that I have found myself a little bit, not too much, <laughs> because um, I don't know, I'm more concentrated in making videos, I'm more concentrated in the things that I like, I'm more... Loki! 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 I can say that I am a little bit more focused on the things that I would love my life to be like um, because, I don't know, I, I just rumble a lot I, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know if you will be able to follow me um, but uh, since I've actually, before I even started a career a, um, a university degree by the way, I studied tourism for four years and then made a master in digital business. Which now looking back, it's something that I don't particularly, particularly <laughs> love to work on that. But, you know, back then I didn't know what to do. I saw the, those options and I was like, okay, let's just do easy, easy things. So, like not like a doctor or a lawyer, you know, just like easier, which aren't easier, but you know what I mean. And yeah, I did those and not because I love them, just because, you know, I had to have um, a title, 
So yeah, I actually never knew what to do. I said that because it was easy. And after that I worked in a lot of things that... I mean at first they were okay, but then I just got bored so easily, like so easily, that, I, that my longest job was six months. Okay, actually my longest job, it's been this year, which was one year, uh, but I, I got bored, bored so fast, so, 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 so fast in every job that I've done that, I mean, I was going to work just hating the world, if you know what I mean. So I quit one job, uh, joined another one, quit that one, yeah, it, it was kind of, kind of five crazy years they've been in my past uh, life and this year I don't know, I'm more, I'm more focused on, on finding myself, on seeing what things I really like, what things I don't like and I've been more, as I told you, more focused on doing YouTube videos, um, creating things and I think, you know, in a way I'm, I'm enjoying it more than I've had enjoyed my previous jobs. So let's just see how this works and because th this really, I really enjoy just talking because I love talking so much, so much. And I mean, it's a pity that I'm talking to a camera, but if I think, I'm talking to you. And I don't know, it's just been crazy. And this year, the things that I've learned, actually the one and only thing that I've learned was to, to understand myself, to, to spend more time with myself, you know? People would say, some friends told me that I was being lonely, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you depressed? Are you... And I mean, I don't know if I was depressed, I was okay just being here at home, filming videos, editing videos, that's the most, what I most enjoy of, of, this, um, of this hobby. Edition, I love spending hours and hours and hours editing videos and I was... I'm in, the, in that bubble that I, I really, I really like, I do like. I mean, I hang out with friends from time to time, but, you know, I don't feel like I have to meet them. Like, yes or yes, because if not, I'm going to lose them. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm trying to, to make a balance between those things. And I think this year has been all about that, all about meeting me with me, meeting, like learning things about myself that I didn't know and basically to spend time with myself, which I didn't done that ever, to tell you the truth, ever. Never spend time thinking what I like, what I don't, never spend time just meeting me, you know? So I think this year has been all about that and um, I, I think I can say that I'm quite proud of that so <laughs> seeing all the bad things that are, are, are still happening in this world I think for me it's been a good year in the sense of being able to spend time with myself and yeah yeah, I know how selfish this can sound, but it's it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And I know it's been a difficult year, very hard and rough year. But we have to keep living, you know, we have to life has to keep going. So yeah, let's just do the best we can. Yeah, I think I think that sums up like more or less this year. So okay, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and for listening to this crazy mind that rumbles a lot, that has no main point. <laughs> I really appreciate um, to all of you 
all the support that you have given me this year the the very first year of the channel it's so crazy and insane and let's hope that this 2020 is going to be even better, full of music and love and everything. So yeah, thank you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please, 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 please do not forget to give a big thumbs up if you liked it. I loved it. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel and to click on the bell to notify you whenever I upload a new video. I will also leave you here my social media links if you want to go and check them, say hi. I will be more than pleased to hear from you. I will also really appreciate if you can go and check my second YouTube channel that I'm going to talk about it, that I will film at the end of this year. But I will really appreciate if you can go and check it and subscribe and say hi. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. And see you on the next video. Bye!